guys are wondering why I'm in the same clothes as my previous video before I'm actually filming two videos in one night for you guys so this is actually a drugstore haul so for all you girls who want to go ahead and get like an expensive drugstore makeup that's actually you know price friendly so the first things that I actually went and got from the drugstore well these were actually purchased at the local beauty store I went ahead and got the LA Girl Pro Concealer um, the shade that I have in this is actually cocoa, dark cocoa. So yeah, dark cocoa. So I actually use this to do my contour. So I use it like on my cheek crease right there to contour my nose, some of my forehead, and some below my lower jawline. This is actually pretty good for contouring because, and it's it's inexpensive. I mean, it's price friendly. I mean, normally I would go ahead and use my um mac pro concealer but that's like i think it's worth 18 dollars i think compared to 2.99 at the, at the local beauty store i mean you can't beat that the next couple of shades that i went ahead and got which i haven't even opened the packages yet because i'm still using previous items that i had had before um i got the what color is this Excuse me guys the orange corrector so this is actually supposed to be used for if you have like dark spots or imperfections you use that to color correct it before you actually apply your foundation or for women who don't like using foundation you can use it prior to applying your concealers the next color that I got is fawn Fawn is my favorite color that's this color here in the middle sorry guys I didn't take it out of the package but yeah fawn is perfect like for uh, beauty store concealers like they're amazing like they're like on top like I will tell you guys go ahead and cop these instead of spending way more money at MAC and they work just the same as MAC too so thumbs up for that the next item that I actually got from the drugstore is the wet n wild lipstick I actually got the color in mocha licious this color i use a lot because i mean it's very subtle and i can actually use it when i wear it mostly when i'm going to work because it's not really a low vibrant color it's just music the next color that i went ahead and got is from nyx and i got the matte from their matte collection matte lipstick collection sorry i can't speak tonight um i got the color aria which that is how Aria looks. It's like a issues. It's like a purple color. So it's like perfect. It's like really really perfect for women who are uh, who are of dark complexion. I don't know what's wrong with me tonight. I'm not speaking correctly. The next color that I went ahead and got is you know if you want to step out of your comfort zone I went ahead and I actually purchased a orange lipstick and to my surprise it's by NYX and the color is in indie flick and it's not even a loud vibrant orange it's like that orange that any black girl can actually walk and get away with it just with a perfect lip liner so this is actually one of my favorites also the next color that I actually went ahead and got from NYX again, which is my favorite color, like favorite, 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 favorite guys. Like if you guys have not gotten this shade, like go out and cop it. I'm telling you, you won't regret it. You can actually use this color with the Night Moth Lip Liner by MAC and it's in the color Transylvania and it's from NYX and it's in their Soft Matte Cream Collection. Like this lip cream is amazing amazing okay and the last lip color that i got from wet and wild is vamp it up i think this is actually a dupe to one of mac lipsticks i can't actually remember what shade it is but it's like a dark moth purple this actually goes really well with the mac lip liner night moth if you guys would actually like to see me do a lip swatch, I mean, just leave a comment below and I'll be sure to do one for you guys because I love you guys so much. And 
I have heard really good reviews on the L'Oreal Paris um, Infallible Matte Pro Matte Foundation and I went ahead and got the shade Opal. This shade is actually really hard to get but I actually got this from Walgreens. But this to be a drugstore makeup is amazing. Like, I just can't explain it. It's really really amazing. The last products that I got from the drugstore is actually was well, from a beauty supply store in expensive makeup. Um, I went ahead and got some lashes. These are the Cherry Blossom eyelashes and I got them in DW and this one's also DW but it's Cara Lashes. These are actually a dollar on MissUSA.com. You get them for a dollar. And this I paid a dollar twenty-nine on iKate House. And I went ahead and got more DWs and my wispies are actually out. But yeah, these are perfect if you like that natural look lash, nothing anything like nothing too heavy to see it. But if you guys are looking for something a bit dense like how this one is, I actually stacked two DWs together to get this type of effect as you can see. It's beautiful, isn't it? Just love it. So anyhow guys, that's my drugstore, beauty supply store, makeup haul. I mean I wish I had more stuff which I do, but I'll actually video those or review those in my next video. And as always, thank you guys for watching. And oh please like and subscribe on your way out. And as always, XOXO.